What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys three cheap sewing machine alternatives because I know a lot of you guys don't have a sewing machine or you can't afford to have one right now. You can't afford to go out and buy one. You can also use these alternatives as a way to see if you really like DIY. Do you really want to put your time into DIY time and money? Before I jump into the alternatives, since these are actually cheaper alternatives to a sewing machine, do not expect these sewing machine alternatives to be as efficient or durable as actually using a sewing machine. But putting all that aside, let's get straight into the sewing machine alternatives. So the first sewing machine alternative would have to be, yes it is, it is fabric glue. Now I'm not a big fan of fabric glue. A lot of people ask me, should I use fabric glue over sewing? Uh, I usually say sewing is way better, but if you do not have a sewing machine, fabric glue is your next best bet and the reason why i say that is because it's very durable it's easy to use just dab on the fabric glue in the area that you want to bond two pieces and you're good it sticks it goes through washes well and depending on what type of fabric glue you get it lasts for a long time so the only downside to fabric glue is that it's a adhesive it's a substance it's something that will wear away but the good thing is, since you will have so much fabric glue, you can just reapply it to that area and it's all good. So I got my fabric glue at Walmart. It was relatively cheap, six, seven dollars will get you one of these. You can even pay more for bigger ones or pay less for smaller ones. But you can go to any Walmart, Joann's, any crafting store will carry it. So if you really want to try out some lightweight DIYs, I recommend to try out fabric glue as a sewing machine alternative. So the next sewing machine alternative is iron on tape. If you're not familiar with iron on tape, just think of it as a double sided tape for fabric. To use iron on tape, it's actually really simple. You just place one side of the tape on one side of the fabric and then you iron down the tape so the adhesive melts and bonds with the fabric. And then you repeat it one more time for the other side or other fabric that you want to bond. So the good thing about iron on tape is that it's very easy to use, very easy to control. You don't have to worry about messes like fabric glue because fabric glue can just get all over the place. And it's way cheaper than fabric glue and you get a lot more. In terms of reliability and durability, fabric glue still wins over iron on tape. You can get iron on tape in the same area where you can get fabric glue. So you might want to get them both just to see which one you like better or what seems better for the project that you're trying to do. The iron on tape that I got cost me about $3, which is really inexpensive. And you should just start out with iron on tape if you're really hesitant about doing DIY or getting into DIY. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about iron on tape. The last sewing machine alternative would have to be the Stitch So Quick by Singer. I got it at Walmart for $15. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Joann's or Michael's. But this little thing is amazing. Now a lot of you guys be like, yo, isn't that a sewing machine? That's like a miniature portable sewing machine, right? Technically, it's a sewing machine, but technically it's not. The only reason why I say it's a sewing machine because it has a straight stitch feature and it automates sewing for you. The reason why I say it's not a sewing machine is because it lacks so much components of a sewing machine. It's more of a tool than a machine and it has its limitations. Besides all that, this thing is a beast. So the way that it works, you just slip the fabric under the needle and you just start stitching. There's a little switch that turns it on and there's a little switch that turns it off. That's pretty much it. But for $15, you can't ask for anything way better than this. So that's the video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found it somewhat helpful, let me know in the comment section below. If you did not find any of it helpful, I'm sorry. I'm going to be trying to find as much alternatives that I can. So I'll probably make an update video or something like that. So if you have any question, anything about sewing, anything about clothing in general, please let me know and I'll be sure to do a video about it in the future. But thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you guys soon. This is Kennedy Daily and remember to keep it daily. Peace.